<laughs> I want to start this by saying this to Jimmy Norton. I apologize to you, sir. Oh. I really read that wrong. When we were down in Washington, Christine from uh, Broad uh, Minded or whatever, Broad, is it Broad Minded? Broad Minded, yeah. Uh, that we messed with yesterday uh, badly on this fine program. It's called Cringe Radio, by the way. Look it up. Deal some with pe- it. Some people just didn't enjoy yesterday's little segment. Then go somewhere else. That's, that's why XM has so many channels. The decades like- channels you can go to. Yes. I like George Clooney does. I like the uh, I like the people that bitch that when, when we have a guest in here and we treat them with respect and uh, have a great interview with them and get a lot of information, have fun with a guest. I like the people that uh, chime in and say, "You guys stink. Uh, you used to have fun and abuse these people. Why are you being that? Why take serious questions only? Rip into them. What are you doing?" And uh, then when we do a show like we did yesterday, we, we get, what are you doing? You're a fucking asshole. Did you leave that person alone? See, it's called um, uh, mixing it up a little bit. We gotta Variety. Keep it, we got to keep it in perspective. Most people like the bit, by the way. Of course. There, yeah. there were definitely uh, a bunch of people that did balance. balance the bit, and they uh, were very vocal about it. We balance it out, they and you don't know where we're mean. going. Oh, well, it was mean, mean then. Tough shit. But going back to Jim Norton and the apology, I just read that wrong because she was on our show when we broadcast live from the uh, compound down in Washington, and she was flirting with Jimmy, and and I really thought that there was something there, and I thought Jimmy was nuts for not going for it. And now I realize she was just playing some stupid game, and she's continuing to play the stupid game on her show that she has something for Jim Norton. And I know she, but and, and it's like I'm not even mad at her. She's a nice girl. I mean, she's just being silly, but it's like I'm too big of a pervert. It's almost like... I'm 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 like an awful animal in the woods. You can't just dangle things in front of my face because I I want to eat them. It, it, she I can't. is she is grizzly man for you. She's Timothy Treadwell. She doesn't understand. She she's playing with you and thinking you're nice or something, and and that she can be around you and taunt you a little bit and tease you sexually with this little innuendo and right. fake little relationship thing, not knowing that you will. Uh, uh, not doing anything harmful. Her. I'm a pervert. I'm not a harmful pervert. I'm not a rapist. Yeah. But it's like, I don't, I mean, look, I'm a nice guy off the air, but if you're hot and I'm hanging out with you, please, what yeah. do you think I want? Yeah. You what want do you think I want? Stimulating conversation, I know. And she's just all talk. She doesn't want it. No, I from know. From you. Well, would, she shouldn't. And, uh, look and, at me and look at her. And for the, for the new listeners, you know, uh, she was flirting with Jimmy and invited Jimmy back to the station for their little date. Yeah, <laughs> yeah to have some wine. Is that? <laughs> right, well. Yeah, we're going to sit there and watch <laughs> fucking, just sit there and look at Ed the computer guy while we had our wine. <laughs> See that ghoul walking around? Plugging things in. <laughs> wow, can we sit in the office and stare at Elo and wonder what stooge he looks like with that hairdo today? <laughs> it's romantic. <laughs> Why don't we hang out under Lee Abrams' desk and catch a contact high while he <laughs> fucking talks to Robert Plant's manager? Bunch of creeps in that compound. <laughs> yeah, well, let's go to Kurt in New York. Kurt! Hey, Obi, I think you're wrong on that. I, I listened to the beginning of her show last night. Yeah. And you know, she was really cool with you guys, actually. I mean, she was like, yeah, you know, it's just the way it was. But just off the cuff, she said about Jimmy, she goes to the other girl she was talking to. Um, boy, the only thing I'm really bummed out is I think I, you know, I, I could have ruined it for Jimmy. And she wasn't saying it jokingly. That's really, it was unbelievable. Jimmy, uh, I think she really likes you, man. I think that she likes me because I was nice to her and I, and I do like her I think she's a, she's a sweetheart but I mean it's like it's, I understand I've, so I've sat next to her I do I'm really good with body language and chemistry and again she's you know she's with a bunch of creeps in a room what is she going to say just truthfully like look you kind of have a bullfrogish neck Not last you're odd night. looking she was no. her girlfriend last night and, she, and her girlfriend was almost counseling her last night and it was no stick yeah we got some audio I guess well, I don't think mm. we have the audio of her talking about Jimmy though I'm right not sure right at the beginning it was unbelievable Oh, okay. Thanks, Thanks man. man. See you. Thanks. And I love the people uh, that say, I used to like your show until yesterday. Oh, one no. day. Just one lousy Boy, bit. You, you must have been some fan. Oh, no no. Shit. You guys, I loved your show even though it was hanging on by a fingernail. <laughs> right. Just waiting for that one day you would piss me off. You know, I was listening for about a year and I love everything I heard, but yesterday... But the one segment you did yesterday, wow, yeah. super fun. I'm going to fire off an angry letter to Opie and Anthony. Where's your manager? Beat it. I miss those, though. That's part of the program, Cringe Radio. Yes. yes. We do it from time to time. What can I tell it's you? It's needed. Vaughn in D.C., what's up? 
Man, oh, yesterday I caught that show on replay. Sometimes you don't have that many bits, but yesterday when I heard you do your impression of the Jack Nicholson interview and you were like, bye-bye, sweetie, I know, what was it, uh, not now, sweetie? I died oh. in my truck. Yeah, here's our interview with uh, George Clooney, was uh, it, or Jack, Jack Nicholson? Nicholson? Yeah, yeah. Jack, not now, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he did the, the passing the microphone. <laughs> thing. That's great. <laughs> All right, Vaughn, thank you. That was uh, funny. Uh, well, she went on her show yesterday, <laughs> oh, sweetie, and then the the uh, deprecating sweetie too. You know, not now, sweetie. Oh, they are talking about Jim on that on yeah. this clip. Yeah. Oh, good. So Christine went on her own show on uh, Broad Minded yesterday, and this is what she had to say about uh, what happened on our program uh, that morning. Right. And then I uh, had to get up at uh, 4 o'clock this morning to do a hit on Opie and Anthony, mm -hmm. which um, was a complete and utter disaster. <laughs> 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 I love when we get the complete and utter disaster. Which, when anyone says which was a complete, it's very rarely joy. You're going to be yeah. following that. <laughs> complete <laughs> and utter pleasure. Yeah, complete <laughs> and utter pleasure. <laughs> yeah, after utter, it's Never, finished. No. You know the word disaster is coming. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure it wasn't that bad. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. It was no, 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 a no, no, nightmare. No. I mean, I was so tired, and, you know, they didn't... It, it, I, I guess we, you know, miscommunication. I like these guys. You know, I'm a fan of their show, and and this is what they do. This is their bit, you know, to uh, to, to you know to tear into people. And they didn't really care what my coverage of the Oscars. And then I didn't get a chance to do it. And then I got <laughs> thanks, Jason, for the music. By the way, that's nice. <laughs> and then because uh, I'm so sick and tired, I got frustrated, and I didn't even want to deal with them anymore. But you know, it is what it Did is. Someone figure I like that those out guys for me, please. Doing, you know, they're doing their show. Well, uh, but the, the thing is, is you did get a lot of great coverage. Somebody in the studio played that. <laughs> That's the only thing I could think of. Probably a callback. Why me. would, uh, oh, you think it's a I might be sure callback. like a regular, like, first place Steve thing. or... Okay. A little odd. Because it was out of the ordinary and... I don't know. I don't, it didn't seem weird or supernatural or UFO-ish or... Are we a supernatural show? I, I guess so. Yes. I guess so. Have you been dead the whole time? <laughs> I mean, are you, you've really you got a little secret you want to tell us? Great. Ruin the ending. I, I smell like those the guys. They're dead. doing, you know, they're doing their show. Well, uh, but the, the thing is, is you did get a lot of great coverage yeah. out there because you um, have a lot to tell us about sightings. Because I have a lot of questions. Oh, I want to know. Well, yeah. I want to know who Sighting. you saw. I guess this just was presented in a way that Opie and Anthony liked. But you know. It, it happens, and they got me. That's you know, that's what they do. Well, I have one question. The probably yeah. the most important question: How yeah. did the dress look? I looked so hot, but I also do want to say on the Opie and Anthony front, I can fight with them, and I don't care. I still think little Jimmy's hot. Well, good, so, he is. I, I still so want to bang him. Well, is, I, is little Jimmy single? Yes. Yeah, he is. And he thinks that I'm kidding, and I'm not. But after the disaster that was the show today, I, I, I probably don't have a, a, a chance in, in you know what. But I, uh, yeah, I'm still oh, I'm really, sure I, you still have a chance with little Jimmy, Christine. Yeah, I don't know if I'm just so stinking hot because I haven't had sex I would for say, a long time. I would say, Christine, now's your chance to make it up to him. Yeah, I think uh, <laughs> I think it's all going to be just uh, fun. Yeah, Christine, I think now's the time to really start doing some damage control, if you know what okay, I mean. Okay, baby. If you know what I mean there. I know. Sweet thing. I Sweet think it'll thing. be okay. And everybody but, everybody has their thing, and you know. Wow. Call her out on it, Jimmy. That's all I can tell you. Say, you know something? You want to fuck? Let's do it. Well, uh, just to answer uh, the, the point there about, well... I hope it's still salvageable. Here's the way it works with me and sexual behavior. All right. <laughs> if my mother was sick and you went to the hospital and kicked her a lot, stomach, face, and legs, and just kicked her, you still haven't blown it. <laughs> <laughs> do you understand? If you're a certain look or better, there's nothing you could do. I don't want to see blood test results. I believe you. <laughs> it's all good. But I think that uh, probably... Not her type. So that was the uh, comment she had about yesterday's fiasco. That's yeah. a lot. Look, Not much really it. there.